Why did you stop? You had your cell phone in your hand. I wasn't doing anything okay. wrong. You have your license registration? I'm not going to give you my license registration. Why are you uh, so uptight? Huh? I'm irritated because you pulled me over for no reason. You had your cell phone in your hand. What if I have a cup in my hand? I hear your cases every day in court. Okay, what's that Go mean? Give me a ticket. Give me a ticket. And I'm tired Here of it. Here you go. Here's your license and privilege privilege warrants. Give it to me. Let me have my license now. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. I was first made aware of this story by my favorite lawyer, John Bryan from the Civil Rights Lawyer Channel. On July 11th, 2021, Officer Johnson pulled over Hardy Circuit Judge C. Williams for operating a vehicle with a cell phone in his hand. How you doing, sir? The reason I'm stopping Judge you... Judge Williams. Judge Williams. I don't... What, why did you stop me? You had your cell phone in your hand. I had my phone like this. Yeah. I just lost it. I was just okay. looking for it. Pulled it up like this. Was okay. not on it. I just looked in the... Car. Go up and look. Okay, why are you screaming at me? Sir, I you have wasn't your license doing anything. Insurance? You have your license registration and insurance? I wasn't doing anything okay. wrong. You have your license registration and I'm not going to give you my license registration. You I wasn't doing anything wrong. You cannot have a handheld. I had my phone just like this. I was that not is, on my phone. And what state of Western you cannot have a handheld cell phone? And you all aren't ever on yours, right? You're never on yours. I drive and, by a lot of times, and you all are on yours. You're never on yours, right? Okay, I don't understand. You're why never you're on yours. Me. Why are you yelling at me, sir? I said you're never on. Why are you yelling at me? I'm not. I'm not yelling at you. Yes, you have been. I've never raised my Let voice. Let me tell you to something. You. You all are on yours. I was not. If you read the code, the code says that if we're Here. conducting official business, Thank you can be on it. I just don't know why you're no, yelling no. at me. No, not on official business. Okay. Here. Thank you, sir. I, what? What's? Why are you uh, so uptight? Huh? Go and give me a ticket. What's Good. going on? Give me a ticket. Why are you so shaky? What's going on? I'm irritated because you pulled me over for no reason. You had your cell phone in your hand. I picked up my cell phone because I had it lost. Okay. I pulled it up here and I was had my hand on it here okay. to put it in here. You That's know the what law, you saw. Though. You know the law. So what? What if I have a cup in my hand? You, you can't have a cell phone and say it was being in your hand. Give me a ticket. I don't Go write me a ticket. I just don't understand why you're. Go give me a ticket. Write me a ticket. And I'll take it up to the town office and I'll go to trial. But give me a ticket. Go ahead. It's ridiculous what you're doing. How ridiculous. is it ridiculous? It's ridiculous. That you had yourself in because the hand. You, you all have yours. I've seen it many times. Y'all have yours and you don't get pulled over. And it tell me, don't tell me it's on official business. I hear your cases every day in court. Okay, what's that? Go mean? give me a ticket. Give me a ticket. Come on, give me a ticket. I'm, I'm really don't... irritated about this whole Go ahead and give me a ticket. But why are you being like this to me? I've never done nothing to you in my whole life. You just pulled me over for no because reason. Because you had your cell phone in your hand. Pulled me over for no reason. Give you had your cell phone in your Okay. Officer Johnson returns to his cruiser to issue Judge Williams a citation under West Virginia Code 17C-14-15, which states that a person may not drive or operate a motor vehicle on a public street or highway while using a cell phone unless the use is accomplished by hands-free equipment. The code provides exclusions for dialing phone numbers and accepting incoming calls, and it is likely that if the judge had remained silent, he could have used the exclusions as a solid defense. However, the code does not include merely holding a cell phone, and it would be up to the prosecution to prove that Judge Williams was operating the device in the manners defined in the code. As Johnson enters his cruiser, the officer runs the judge's license and learns that it is expired, and about four minutes later, he receives a phone call from his lieutenant. Hello? Yes. No, I haven't even wrote it yet. I'm probably not going to write it. Oh my god. Okay, well he's literally just screaming at me and everything else. For no reason. Okay. I've tried. He's just screaming at me. 
and then he said that he said that he reviews our, he or looks at our cases every day and we do wrong blah 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 so. mm -hmm. The phone call was prompted because while Officer Johnson was in his cruiser, Judge Williams called the officer's supervisor, Lieutenant Melody Burroughs, who happened to be off-duty. According to the lieutenant's allegations in the statement of charges, the judge was enraged and gave his side of the story, trying to stop the issuance of a ticket. The lieutenant told the judge that she would contact Officer Johnson and tell him not to write the ticket. After speaking with Officer Johnson, she called the judge back, which is when Officer Johnson returns to the vehicle. Hello. Yeah. Right, you can break me a ticket or not, I don't care. I'll take it up to town. We'll go to a trial, buddy. That's fine with me. And I tell you what, the next time I see any of you on the phone, I'm stopping right there and call the state police. Any of you. Okay. This is how I had my phone. I reached down and got it under my seat. I pulled it up here and I was driving like this. I was not talking on it. You can look. You can look when you pull me over. See whether I was on my phone. Why are you being like this? I'm being it because I've seen this crap enough. And I'm tired Here's of it. Here you go. Here's your license. Let me try to prove insurance. Give it to me. Let me have my license now. Also, you need to go get your license up to date because they're expired, okay? Next time I... Later that evening, Judge Williams called the police chief to complain about the incident and hung up on the chief when he was asked not to call his home. The judge then called the former police chief and hinted that he may treat future cases involving the department differently. Judge Williams then called Circuit Judge Charles Carl, who testified that Williams seemed intent on proving himself right. As if he hadn't dug himself a deep enough grave, Judge Williams then went to Moorfield Mayor Carol Zuber's home at 10 p.m. to complain about the department and Officer Johnson. Once this information and body cam footage reached the Hardy County prosecutor, Judge Williams was charged with improper use of a cell phone and driving without a valid license. He negotiated a plea deal to have the cell phone charge dismissed without prejudice and paid $30 and court fees for his expired license. Finally, the Judicial Investigation Committee formally charged Judge Williams with multiple violations of the Code of Judicial Conduct. The Judicial District Court then filed an ethics complaint against Judge Williams. The JIC sought Williams' suspension without pay, pending the outcome of the disciplinary matter. However, the Supreme Court deferred ruling on the suspension without pay, as long as Williams agreed to no longer preside over criminal cases in Hardy County and promised not to hear any matters involving the Moorfield Police Department and its officers during the proceedings. A big thanks to John, the civil rights attorney, for featuring this video. I will link his version below as he explains it a little bit more. He recently represented me in a case that we may make public. Be sure to check out his channel and let him know I sent you. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below. <laughs>